The UAE Space Agency will launch a satellite later this year that has been developed entirely by students. Pupils at the American University of Ras al Khaima and Khalifa University will work together to create Mesensat, designed to measure carbon dioxide and methane levels in the air. Construction of the satellite will begin soon before undergoing rigorous testing in simulated space conditions before its official launch by the end of the year. Once it's up in space, students will monitor and analyze the data that's sent from the satellite, which officials say will play a key role in helping scientists better understand the Earth's atmosphere and ultimately address the many challenges facing our planet. In a first-of-its-kind project, American University of Ras al-Khaimah students are building a satellite that launched into space in February 2020. Ras al-Khaimah Government Media Office visited the university to find out more about the Mesensat project. The Mesensat project is a unique project in terms it's one of the first projects of its kind in the UAE in measuring carbon dioxide and methane and also dealing with red tide. The Mesensat project was a collaboration with Abu Dhabi's Khalifa University, which came about after the universities found a common interest in space. AURAC's focus is on the technical side of building the satellite, while Khalifa University will monitor the levels of carbon dioxide, methane and red tide around the UAE. AURAC has already trained more than 30 students in space technology, most of whom are UAE nationals. And the project has been supported and sponsored from the very beginning by the UAE Space Agency. The students work in programming two versions of the satellite, the engineering model for trial and error purposes and the actual flight model which is handled in a purpose-built clean room to ensure it is free from any stray dust particles. The satellite comprises a shortwave infrared spectrometer, which detects carbon dioxide and methane gases, as well as an RGB camera similar to those found in modern smartphones. They are covered by reflective shear panels, all of which will be housed upon launch in an exo-launch container. Before that though, the students put the engineering model through demanding tests, such as thermal and vibration testing, so it can withstand the rigors of space before final testing is conducted on the flight model itself. Space field, uh, we're new in this, but uh, the UAE showed a very remarkable work reaching uh, the, and reaching and challenging other countries uh, towards space. We think that in Ras al Khaimah uh, we have uh, the expertise, we have the skills and we have also the motivated students and the highly talented students that are able to work on complicated projects like the one that we're working on. You see these universities, the American University of Ras al Khaimah and what has, it has managed to do in a decade which is a very short period of time, it shows you that there is nothing impossible. It was a dream. This dream has come to light and it became a fact of life. I'm really proud of what our students and the team led by Dr. Jalad have achieved so far. It is achievement for the country. It's not only achievement for this university or for the, for the Emirate and it shows how much did the country, the United Arab Emirates, advance in this sector, in education, and now with the, with the government emphasis on space. Also, it's not, like, not only an astronaut is being sent to space, but also there is a satellite, 100% manufactured in the UAE, is going to go to space.